Well, here in this fourth episode in this series, what I'm going to show you is a couple of refinements concerning these desktops that we've now created. One of the refinements is right here with this little message, which you notice is changing about every 10 seconds. What's actually happening here is that I'm rotating through different desktops, which all happen to be the same except for that message. So it makes it look like the same desktop is there, and I'm just getting different messages to come up. I happen to have put three of them here, just messages that came to my mind. And you'll notice underneath I've arranged these icons that represent things that I might want to get into occasionally. The things that I get into most often are down here in this bar, including things like Word and Excel and the debut screen capture program, which is what's running right now. What I'm going to show you is how to make this happen. I happen to be using Windows 8. I'm going to go into the File Explorer. I'm going to look on my hard drive, and you'll notice here I have two folders. One is Desktops, and one is Desktops Not Active. Let's explore Desktops Not Active first. I'm going to preview these. There's a bit of a delay here, and I'm not sure why. When I access a folder in Windows 8, it seems to take a while to come up, but let's preview this. What you'll see here as I flip through these are various desktops that I've created in pretty much the same way that I've already shown you how to create desktops. This, by the way, was a piece of artwork from the early 1800s, and I just put it on a background with this sort of a, a coloring on each side to sort of emphasize this arc of yellow. And here are some shots taken from the web that just would seem to be nice desktops in their own right. These are not collages. These are individual images. And you can find images like this all over the web, National Geographic or the NASA site or various other places. Here's a piece of artwork that I used a photo editor to size in the right uh, proportions. And back to here. Now notice this folder is desktops not active. Let's take a look at desktops active. Here you see the three desktops that are rotating in sequence. Here's one with one message. Here's another one with another message. And here's a third with yet another message. And you'll see as I rotate through these things, it really is the same main image as the collage that I've formed. This is one thing that you can do to sort of be kind of novel about things. The magic of making these things rotate as your desktops is actually as simple as this. What you want to do is to go to the control panel and change the desktop background. Whatever folder you mention in here is going to be the folder from which the desktops will rotate with whatever time period you choose. Now I've chosen the minimum 10 seconds because I like to see these things really move quickly. I could make them appear at random or I can just have them go in sequence, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and 10 seconds, and then back to here for 10 seconds and on and on. Let's see what happens if I change this place from where the desktops are taken, and I instead choose desktops not active. Everything that's checkmarked here will appear as a desktop. If I save these changes, and I go here, now you're going to see those desktops rotate. So 10 seconds for each one of these images in the folder that I've indicated, which is, in this case, desktops not active. However, I've named these folders in such a way, and by the way, I created those folders. You could have any folder like this housed for desktops. But I purposely create these desktops at the screen size 1366 by 768 pixels for this laptop. And if I chose, I could just have these desktops rotate. But what I'm going to do is go back to here, change the desktop background, and I'm going to specify the folder that I actually have named my desktops, my active desktops. And when I do this, that's what I get, the collage that I formed. And since there are three, each with a different message here, you'll see that 
it just appears that the message changes. Just to wrap up this episode and this series of four videos, we formed this collage by using PowerPoint to assemble this image on a 16 by 9 screen. That is PowerPoint set to the proportion 16 units by 19 units, which is this modern laptop configuration. And then I put an area here that was just a solid background, or in this case, kind of a gradient fill. And I left this area blank in the desktop so I could assemble my icons there so that the icons didn't get cluttered over here over these images. And in this case, I'm just rotating three desktops that all appear the same. It's the identical desktop, but each has a different message. So it looks like these messages are going to rotate. If you were doing this as a gift for somebody, let's say a holiday greeting or Valentine's greeting or whatever, you might put different messages in here and pictures related to the person you're sending it to, perhaps pictures of them or pictures taken by them or with them. Or you might just put flowers here and a message that's appropriate to the holiday. Whatever you put into the desktops folder, if you create a desktop folder of this name or any other name, whatever you put into here, when you make the specification that you want to rotate these images, will appear as desktops in rotation on the computer. Kind of a nice way to set up a computer for somebody. Kind of a nice way to put various kinds of photo album pages here. And in fact, if you created a photo album, let's say left an area here for icons, you could have the pictures of that photo album or scrapbook rotate in this way. And it might be a very nice addition to a computer, especially if you wanted to do it as a gift for somebody and just set it up so that they didn't have to worry about it, but they always saw these kinds of images coming. On the other hand, if you set it up that way and you advise somebody, occasionally you would send them a new image. If they placed it into that desktops folder, that's how they install it on their computer. Fairly easy way to distribute scrapbook pages and photo album pages. Something you can do in Windows 8 and in the more expensive versions of Windows 7. The most basic version of Windows 7 doesn't, however, have this capability. It's one of the things that Microsoft hobbled, that very basic version of Windows 7. However, the Windows 8 version that I got that came with this laptop when I bought it, at the end of 2012, has a version of Windows 8 that does have this feature, and it's a very nice feature to have. I hope you've enjoyed this series. My name is Jim Janesey. Tune in to some of my other videos if you're interested in these sorts of things, or to the website where I teach a course at DePaul University that covers this and many other modern computer topics. Bye-bye.